In this video, we are discussing RDD operations and we are discussing transformations. We know that on RDD, two kind of operations can be carried out. One is the transformations, another one is the actions. In case of RDD transformation, it will take one RDD as input and it can produce multiple RDDs as output. In this session, we are discussing only the transformations operations. So let us go into further details. So in Spark RDD, there are two type of operations are there. One is the transformations, another one is the actions. In case of transformations, the RDD transformations are some functions that take one RDD as input and from one or more than RDDs will be obtained as output. So one RDD will be taken as input and one or more RDDs will be obtained as the output. We know that RDD stands for Resilient Distributed Dataset. And this is nothing but one data structure with the help of which a data set can be distributed into multiple servers, multiple nodes so that multiple processes can work on them simultaneously at the same time. All RDDs are immutable then the main RDD will not be changed. So these RDDs are immutable here. So as a result of that this main RDD cannot be changed. It is lazy operation though it creates some RDDs but they execute when an action is called. So it is a lazy computing that means whenever one action will be called then this computation will take place. To improve the computation performance we can set some transformations as pipelined. So we can have some transformations to be carried out pipeline that means one operations output will be the next operations input. So in this way we can create one pipeline and it will it will get completed when the pipeline all the operations mentioned in the pipeline will get completed. So it helps to optimize the process. So there are two kinds of transformations. One is the narrow transformation another one is the wide transformation. In case of narrow transformation we know that it will take a partition as input and it will produce the respective outputs in another partition. That means it is not involving all the partitions in case of narrow transformation. But in case of wide transformation it is doing the operations on multiple partitions taking them as input. So let us go for some further discussion on it. So at first we are concentrating on narrow transformation. You can find that we are here we are having multiple different partitions are there and respective partitions will be obtained as output. If you carry out some operations like your map, flat map, map partition, filter, sample, union. So these are the different operations are there. So what is narrow transformation? Narrow transformations are generated as a result of map, filter or other kind of operations as we have mentioned there and it originates from a single partition in the parent RDD. That means it is not involving multiple partitions of the parent RDD and only some partitions used to find the respective result. So that is why it is called the narrow partition because all parti partitions are not having their participation in these operations. Now let us go for wide transformation and here you can find that this here we are having multiple partitions are there and you can see that multiple partitions are taking participation in the operation to produce the output partitions and that is why also it is known as shuffle operation. So the, you can find that here we have made different colors for different partitions you can see the, the outcome partitions are containing the respective portions for multiple different input partitions and the operations may be intersection, distinct, reduce by key, group by key, join, cartesian, repartition and coalies. So why transformations are generated as a result of group by key, reduce by key or these kind of operations. In this case to form a data partition it can take data from more than one partitions you can see that it is taking data from more than one partitions and it is also known as shuffle partition. So here we have discussed that is RDT operation that is transformations. Thanks for watching this video.